Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stanley Kramer. Nowadays, a motion picture producer engages in a great variety and types of battle. I've been in one or two myself. But I think that in my own career, nothing can possibly rival the excitement and the provocation of the battle which I have recently finished refereeing, in a manner of speaking. I refer to the battle and the clash in a motion picture film known as Inherit the Wind. Now, the protagonists or antagonists in this battle are Spencer Tracy and Frederick March, both two-time winners of the Academy Award. God speaks to Brady, and Brady tells the world. Brady, Brady, Brady almighty! The Lord, the Lord is my strength! Is it possible that something is holy to the celebrated agnostic? Yes. The individual human mind. They are the generations of the holy men and women of the Bible. How'd they go about all this begetting? What do you mean? Well, I mean, did they, uh, did they begat in much the same way as uh, folks get themselves begat today? The process is about the same. I don't think your scientists have improved it any. <laughs> you win no victories here. I've been a lawyer long enough to know there are no total victories anywhere. <laughs> There's only one man in this town who thinks it all, and he's in jail. That's why I'm here. Inherit the wind makes news everywhere. London. Celebrities arrive for the world premiere. Producer Stanley Kramer arrives. Gregory Peck. Filmmakers Otto Preminger and Walter Wanger. Gene Kelly, co-star of Inherit the Wind. And Jeff Chandler. Berlin. Inherit the Wind electrifies the Berlin Film Festival. Record throngs turn out, and a gala list of celebrities and dignitaries, headed by Berlin's mayor, Willy Brunt. Inherit the Wind becomes the first picture ever to win two awards at the festival. A coveted Silver Bear Award, presented to Stanley Kramer by Harold Lloyd, chairman of the festival jury. And a special youth award for the best picture, voted by teenagers all over the country for its brilliant performances and dramatic power, unprecedented acclaim for Inherit the Wind. Oh, God speaks to you? Yes. He tells you what is right and wrong? Yes. And you act accordingly? Yes. So you, Matthew Harris and Brady, through oratory or legislature or whatever, you pass on God's orders to the rest of the world. Oh, no, no, no. Well, meet the prophet from Nebraska. Oh, I, 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 is that the way of things? Is that the way of things? The winner, you'll have to make that decision for yourselves when you see Inherit the Wind. But I would promise you an experience in screen performance beyond anything you have ever seen.